Hello, my name is Ben Beezing, Technology Development Representative for Bayer in Western Missouri and Eastern Kansas. Today, I'm here at our Market Development Research Site in Southwest Missouri near Rich Hill. I'd like to take some time today and give you an overview of one of the research trials we have located at this site this year, looking at short stature corn. This is a fairly new area of focus in corn breeding and advancement, but has gained a lot of momentum and attention. I'll go into some of the reasons why here shortly, but first I'd like to give you an overview of short corn in general and the concept. So behind me here in our research trial, you can see our short corn hybrids side by side to a tall hybrid or typical hybrid we're used to growing. Much shorter plant height than this short hybrid when compared to a, to a normal hybrid. And I'd like to start off and kind of show you on these plants, um, I got a short hybrid here versus a, a typical hybrid, what, what makes the plant height difference in the two. So if we look below the ear on these plants, the nodes are stacked much closer together on this short hybrid when compared to this tall hybrid. When we get above the ear, the node spacing goes back to a similar spacing when you compare the two. So the reduction in height is due to shorter inner nodes or stacked lower nodes on this short corn hybrid plant. At the site this year, our short corn is measuring between five and five and a half feet tall compared to um, our normal corn, which is seven to eight feet tall this year. Conditions at the site have been stressful. We've had uh, hot and dry conditions prior to pollination and leading up to pollination. At our secondary research site or other research site in western Missouri, up near Camden Point, Missouri, we have this same short corn hybrid that's measuring uh, seven and a half feet tall this year versus nine feet tall normal corn. So different environments yielding different plant heights, but uh, when we go and take the, the difference between a normal hybrid and, and short hybrid at both locations, we're, we're hitting on a, a difference in plant heights, um, very similar, being 18 to 24 inches apart. So this trial this year at the site is focused on, in a sense, pressure testing the short corn concept. You know, we want to take this concept out in the real world and, and see what it does and evaluate it. One of the things we're concerned about when we start thinking about shorter corn plants is harvestability and ear height. So in this trial, we have a wide range of plant populations from 32,000 to 48,000 plants per acre. We're taking observations on plant height, ear height, as well as standability of the corn um, in our short hybrids relative to our tall hybrid or normal hybrid for the area. One thing we noticed this year as we were going through and taking observations is how uniform the ear height was in our short corn hybrids with little variation even across that wide of a population span. So we were, we were happy to see that and, uh, and get an average height somewhere around that 21 to 24 inches um, on the short corn hybrid. So we don't really foresee any harvestability issues with our short corn. So why make corn shorter? What's the idea behind the short corn concept? Some of the benefits that short stature corn will provide include increased standability and greater stock strength. This is critical as stock integrity can become compromised as a result of many factors, including disease, environmental factors such as hot dry conditions that we've had at the site this year, as well as other weather related concerns like hail and high winds. What we have seen with this short corn is a much sturdier stock capable of supporting the weight of the ear and upper plant, especially in tough conditions. So for example, this year at the site, we had very hot and dry conditions. And usually year after year, we see some degree of, of cannibalization of the plant and stock in our corn. And no different this year, we've got some of that going on. Recently, we've had a few storm systems pass through that have brought with them some decent wind gusts. In this trial, we've observed some stock lodging in the tall corn check, while the short corn is standing excellent this year. Another big benefit that short stature corn will provide is flexibility to make applications of inputs in crop uh, in the corn. One example would be fungicide. And with the shorter plant height, the options of applying a fungicide late season increase to much more than aerial methods that we're used to in this area. This trial utilized this benefit and has a portion of the trial that has been sprayed with a fungicide and a portion that we left untreated. 
we made the application at the R1 growth stage with a high clearance ground ring. In addition, uh, options for managing inputs like nitrogen are a benefit as well. When I think back to the past few springs we've had in southwest Missouri, we've been extremely wet and had very wet and rainy patterns in early spring. And we've all witnessed cases of severe nitrogen loss in our cornfields. So being able to switch to a split or more of a spoon fed approach in our short corn is, is a great benefit that it provides as well. Lastly, I think of short corn holistically in the system and what it provides and it answers for us some, some of the concerns with becoming more sustainable in agriculture. We're constantly faced with how we can do more with less and I feel the short stature corn is taking us down that path. We're excited to be testing short corn in southwest Missouri and, and broaden our knowledge of the system. Uh, we're about two weeks away from harvest here at the site and particularly this trial so stay tuned to our YouTube and Facebook accounts for more updates and results from this trial as, as well as many other trials at the site. Thanks for watching.